District is bumping up the start date for in-person instruction for some students. Starting October 1st, the district will start phase one, meaning students in special ed, early childhood education, and English language learners can return. The district also laid out how students from elementary to high school will return. ABC 7's Will Heron has a breakdown. EPISD put out a survey for the parents in their district to find out what they thought about bringing students back to the classroom. Out of over 50,000 students, 90% of the parents responded to the survey. As of today, the plan is to bring the majority of teachers and school staff back to campus on September 28th for safety training and workspace setup. The date for some students to return is set to begin on October 1st. Those students include special education, early childhood education, and English language learners. Then the week of October 5th through the 6th, 9th graders can return. The district will then go on intercession the week of October 12th. By October 19th, students pre-K through 8th can go back for in-person instruction five days a week. High school students will remain on the hybrid staggered model for two days at school, then three days at home. Parents still have the option to keep their students at home for remote learning. All employees, unless they're cleared to remain home, will return to campus by October 7th. Today I spoke with Ross Moore, the El Paso president of the American Federation of Teachers, to find out what he thought about EPISD bringing everyone back to the classroom. Now I also spoke with Kendall Brown Jessup, a parent activist who created the group Let School Bells Ring EPISD to find out what she thought about students returning to the classroom. Here in West El Paso, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.